of IEEE Region 10 goes back to 50 years ago. On the 24th of August 1966 at the Board of Directors meeting, a motion was passed, which divided IEEE membership into 10 geographical regions. The United States of America was divided into Region 1 to 6. Canada was named as Region 7, the territory covering Europe, part of Near East, and North Africa was designated as Region 8, the territory comprising Central America, South America, Caribbean and Bahamas Islands was designated Region 9, areas not covered by Region 1 to 9, called Rest of the World, were designated as Region 10, effective from the 1st of January, 1967. After the adjustment of regional boundaries in early 80s, the IEEE world maps looks like this. The IEEE Region 10 covers countries in Asia and Pacific. It is therefore also known as the Asia-Pacific Region. On its western boundary are Afghanistan and Pakistan. In the northeast are South Korea and Japan. And in the southeast corner are Australia and New Zealand. Over the last 50 years the IEEE membership in Region 10 has grown steadily, starting with just over 2,500 members in 1967. The membership has almost doubled in each decade. Today it has crossed to more than 125,000 members. The IEEE membership percentage reveals that Region 10 constitutes 30% of total membership. The combined membership in Region 10 and Region 8 makes almost half of the total membership which demonstrates the global nature of IEEE today. Currently in R10 there are 57 sections, 26 subsections, 878 technical society chapters, 88 affinity groups, 6 councils, over 1,300 student branches, more than 600 student branch chapters and close to 300 student branch affinity groups. At the beginning of 1980s the inception of region's flagship International Technical Conference 10 con took place and the first conference was hosted by Hong Kong section and co-sponsored by Region 10. The 10 con greatly boosted IEEE visibility among the scientific and engineering community. It also immensely helped membership development. 10 con is now a well-established conference and is annually hosted by one of the sections within the region. Region 10 launched its second international technical conference as a sister conference to TenCon in 2013, and named it TenCon Spring. The first TenCon Spring was held in 2013 at Sydney, Australia. In the following year the conference was renamed as R10 Technical Symposium, or TenSimp in short, to avoid confusion with TenCon. TenSimp is now a well-established conference which is held annually around a theme based on technological trends. In recent years countries in Region 10 have been hit by many natural disasters, which precipitated a new international conference called the R10 Humanitarian Technology Conference. This annual conference focuses on all aspects of humanitarian issues and application of technology to wrestle them.
The IEEE Tokyo section was originally established as an IRE section on 5 December 1955. The establishment of the Tokyo section was spearheaded by Dr. Hidetsugu Yagi, world famous for the Yagi antenna, Dr. Yasujiro Niwa, past vice president of IRE, and Dr. Fumio Minazuma. The section was renamed as IEEE Tokyo Section in 1963. The first student branch in Region 10 was also formed under the Tokyo Section. Dr. Shizuo Mizashina, a lecturer at Shizuoka University motivated students to form the student branch. Under his guidance Sichia Kamaru and few other students undertook the, the task which led to the formation of the student branch on 25 March, 1968. A poster of IEEE logo for the student branch was drawn by hand and used for the membership development. The first student branch meeting was held in June 1968 which was attended by Professor Takahiro Okabe, as the first student branch counselor. We started as a Tokyo section with 50 members and split into eight sections in 1998. Currently, nine sections are in operation with 14,000 members. The 60th anniversary celebration, IEEE President Karen Bartelson said. It is my great honor to join you in celebrating the 60th anniversary of IEEE sections in Japan. This celebration marks 60 years of involvement in and support of IEEE in Japan, beginning with the original 50 members of the Tokyo section. Your vibrant and dynamic group has grown to more than 14,000 members in nine sections across the country. Your members have helped to lead IEEE at the highest levels, and your work continues to be integral to our organization's ongoing successful evolution and expansion. You have harnessed the unmatched power of technology to improve people's lives not only in your local communities, but around the world. These tremendous achievements have received wide recognition, including eight winners of the IEEE David Sarnoff Award, six recipients of the IEEE Founders Medal, and one member who received the IEEE Medal of Honor, our highest distinction. In addition, there have been a multitude of IEEE milestone dedications throughout Japan. IEEE milestones are unique pioneering efforts which have resulted in major advancements within our technical community and have had significant impact on society. We have been contributing to the society with science and technologies. However, there are many things waiting for the technology solution. Let's move forward to make the world better.
formation of IRE India section was approved by the Executive Committee of the IRE Board on November 16, 1959. The early history of this section is not known. However records indicate that it converted into an IEEE Kanpur, India, section. The chair of Kanpur section from 1966 to 1968 is recorded as H.K. Kesavan, head of electrical engineering of Indian Institute of Technology at Kanpur. A new petition to form an IEEE India section was submitted by Fakir Chand Kohli in May 1969, which led to formation of India section. What happened to Kanpur section is currently being investigated. However, it appears that original section was dissolved and Kanpur became a subsection of newly established IEEE India section. To establish links with all IEEE members across the country, the India section launched two major initiatives. The first one was publication of a newsletter in April 1972. It was sent out by mail service. This newsletter has continued to be published regularly for last four decades, and is now circulated by email. The second initiative launched in 1973 was an annual convention and exhibition. It included display of projects and student paper contest. By mid-1970s the India section had four subsections at Bangalore, Delhi, Kanpur, and Madras. In 1976 two subsections, Delhi, and Bangalore, became full IEEE sections. Also in same year a new section was formed at Bombay. The formation of three full sections led to approval of IEEE India Council, which replaced India section in 1976. In the following year, the formation of several new sections in other Indian states gradually took place. IEEE, Delhi Section, the 13th of May, 1976. IEEE, Bangalore Section, the 13th of July, 1976. IEEE, Bombay Section, the 13th of July, 1976. IEEE, Madras Section, the 28th of April, 1978. IEEE, Calcutta Section, the 28th of September, 1978. IEEE, Kerala Section, November 18, 1983. IEEE, Hyderabad Section, the 14th of May, 1984. IEEE, Karagpur Section, the 13th of May, 1985. IEEE, Gujarat Section, the 15th of August, 1990. IEEE, Uttar Pradesh Section, the 1st of May, 1992. And, IEEE, Pune Section, the 26th of June, 2010. Record 
records indicate presence of AIEE members in Australia as far back as in late 19th century. However, formal IEEE involvement started with the petition, signed by 63 members, was filed by Mr. James Vassalou in June 1972. After the approval the Australian section was established on 16 August, 1972. The area encompassing by the Australian section included all Australian states and territories and also the territory of Papua New Guinea. A subsection in Victoria was formed in late 1975, and in 1983 the Victorian subsection was approved to become a full section. By 1984 the combined total membership in the Australian and Victorian section was in excess of 1,700. Formation of new sections started to take place. With the formation of Victorian and Western Australia sections, the Australian section was renamed as the New South Wales section in December 1985. After the transformation of the Australian section into New South Wales section, and with the establishment of the Queensland and South Australia sections in 1985, Jim Vesselu petitioned for formation of an IEEE Australia Council in early 1985. Approval was granted in December 1985, and the first Australia Council meeting was held on 30 May 1986. In 1994 a new section in Queensland was formed to cater for the members in the regional Australia. It is known as the Northern Australia section. It covers areas north of Tropic of Capricorn, Northern Territory, and Papua New Guinea. In 1980s when China was not yet fully open to foreign companies, Dr. Pilin Liu, Director of Technology Department of Ministry of Electronics Industry, tasked Mr. Mengji Zhao's to get government departments on board for permission to establish links with the IEEE. With Dr. Luo and Mr. Zhao's hard work, the Chinese government granted permission and a petition was submitted in July 1984 for an IEEE section in China. The petition was approved by the Board of Directors, and on 1 December, 1984 the IEEE Beijing section was formed. With growing number of members across China, it became evident that more sections were needed to service members concentrated in different parts of China. Seeing this need, the chair of Beijing section in 2005 expressed the determination to establish seven I more sections in China. I in China. From the current 3,000 to at least 6,000. I want during my term to make sure we have at least eight sections. As at the moment, we only have one section, that is the Beijing section. And we want to establish not only Beijing section, but also Shanghai section, Xi'an section, Chengdu section, Harbin section, Guangzhou section, and this place. Within next two years six more sections were established, four in November 2006, and two in 2007. Also in 2007 the IEEE China Council was formed to coordinate and promote collaboration among all seven sections.
In late 1995 a high-level delegation led by IEEE President Professor Tom Kane visited Vietnam. Other members of the delegation were past President Professor Troy Nagel, Region 10 Director Paul Chung, Professor Felix Wu, and the Chair of Computer Society Chapter in Singapore Mr. Tia Tat K. IEEE delegation was not only warmly welcomed by scientists and engineers but also by Mr. Dang Hu, Minister of Science and Technology, and Mr. Than, President of Directorate General of Posts and Telecommunications Vietnam. As a result of negotiations conducted during the visit, a memorandum of understanding was signed one year later in 1995. However, this MOU did not result in any presence of a local IEEE organizational unit in Vietnam. After almost 10 years later in 2005 to 2006, a fresh efforts were made to establish an IEEE organizational unit in Vietnam. Recalling this new initiative, Professor Yanni Namazirska says, in three months' time, between October and December 2006, a, a small group of IEEE volunteers led by Professor Wu Duong and Professor Nguyen Tang Son managed uh, to obtain a governmental approval for the IEEE section in Vietnam find uh, an umbrella organization, which was Vietnam National University, as the umbrella organization for the section, and uh, to provide financial assistance for uh, some members' fees, and to organize a petition with 50 uh, signatures of active members. That was really unbelievable effort. And on March the 6, 2007, during the RIF conference, uh, the section was inaugurated. A deputy minister of Post and Telecoms, uh, who uh, gave a speech during the opening of the conference, compared the inauguration of the IEEE section and its significance for the technical and scientific community in Vietnam to do that uh, which was uh, Vietnam joining the World Trade Organization for the Vietnam economy. Congratulations on the 50th anniversary of IEEE Region 10 and the 60th anniversary of IEEE Tokyo Section. IEEE Region 10 has 110,000 members and is the largest region with 27% of the total membership. IEEE Region 10, or Asia Pacific Region, is still growing. Membership growth is important, but it is not the first priority. We have to improve the value of IEEE membership. I believe each and every service of IEEE is giving value to members, but we could still improve the services. For that, as IEEE Region 10 Director-elect, I will do my best together with IEEE leaders, volunteers, and staff. Thank you very much. The Chinese have a strong commitment to science and engineering education. China ranks number one in usage of IEEE Explorer.